What's happening YouTube and all my subscribers? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. And so the uh, the poll came in. Uh, the winner for the video this Friday because of the amount of requests. Today we'll be covering a dirt tank. So uh, shout out to Cutbait for that. Shout out to SJ Lofty Eaton for that as well. And shout out to G Family, yo! And G Family, like always, you had several requests, but we're going to stick with this one today, and I'll cover your other questions later. Um, and then I have a couple more things to say. I live for tropical fish. I owe you my deepest and sincerest apology. Last week, she had made a suggestion that I should cut all my testing strips in half. And I thanked the wrong person on a public video post. So she gets the credit. If any of you watch this video and start snipping them in half, thank I live. Thank I live for tropical fish. So thank you for that. And then Gary Allen, thank you for your comment and request. And y'all both had a specific request, and I am going to get to that. Um, uh, I will make a video for that and do it on Monday. It's about you guys want to know how to kickstart your. Uh, Alter Nanaka Renaniki, cool name, bro. Uh, trust me, the the frustration is real. I understand, and I'm going to video walk you through it. I'm going to do it to mine, and you can do it with me on Monday. But today is dirt, and I had to do this video twice. The first one was way too long. It was like 35 minutes, so I scrapped that whole thing, and I'm starting over with a smaller tank, so it's re so I can get it done in a reasonable amount of time. So here we are. Here is a tank. This is a three gallon. Doesn't matter. I usually only do 10 gallon tanks. This is just an extra tank from a long time ago. So, dirt. All right. You want your dirt to be organic soil. Now, there are some old schoolers out there who would say grab some dirt from your front yard. I disagree with it just slightly, and that's because I my expertise is with water and plants. That's how I started. And I need to know what's in my water. And unless I have a tester for every element on the periodic table, which I don't, then I won't use dirt from my front yard. I get organic soil. It must be organic. It cannot be potting soil. Potting soil has little chunks of synthetic fertilizers that will kill everything. Organic. And then I like the miracle Grow. miracle Grow has like three different kinds. I look at the guaranteed analysis. I see what that dirt's providing. And then I know that's what will be in the dirt and any other elements that I want for the plants, I can add to the water column. So, there is a way to do this without the dirt kicking up in here or the dirt releasing all of its nutrients into the water column and um, messing up your parameters. Because there, um, there are a lot of fools out there who will tell you, don't chase parameters and don't chase elements for your plants. Uh, they're all idiots. Look, if, if, if you want your... If you want your plants to succeed to the best of their ability, you need to know what's in your water. And your crummy tap water is just not going to cut it. I mean, there's a million reasons why, but it, even people getting it from... I'm not going to get into it, Bank. I've gotten into too many arguments about water. Start from scratch, okay? Now, G Family, this is for you. I want you to do this because you've been listening to what I've been saying about water. That's why I changed the channel name. Um, and I want you to go on Amazon and order yourself a TDS meter. It stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Now I'm going to show you. Now it picks up everything. If there's anything in your water that isn't pure, because pure water has a pH of 7 and will have general hardness of 0 and carbonate hardness of 0 and 0 of everything else. There's nothing in it. So this is RO water. I actually collected it out of my dehumidifier, which is... That's a cool tip I, 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 I should share with everyone. Dehumidifiers. It's like our RO unit and a dehumidifier. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to show you. Now, anything below 15 parts per million TDS, I, I, I consider that as pure as it can get. If you get zero, the only way I've noticed you can get absolute zero is if you actually buy a gallon of purified water from the grocery store. So here's my TDS meter. Let me get this closer to you. Can we even see it? Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm going to stick this in here. 
I'm going to wait for it to stop. All right. It stopped at three. Three TDS. It's pretty pure as, he, as you can get. So the other thing I promised uh, G Family is that I would show him that it is possible to get everything in here, fill it up with water, and all the water up here has, has, hasn't has been tampered with. So let's get started. All right, I'm already five minutes in. Let's not go 30 minutes. All right, so I got my organic. I have everything prepped. You're going to need three things. A bucket. A bucket of soil. You want to soak it with purified water. Yes. Or all... RO water. You don't need water with minerals in it because all the minerals in your freaking dirt. Okay? So it's got everything you need. You're also going to need a bucket of what I know is the best. And there's only two options if you're going to do this correctly. And that's fine black diamond blasting sand or pool filter sand. You use anything else, you lose. You lose with the organic soil. You cannot you you can't cap it with pebbles. You can't cap it with rocks. You can't cap it with aquarium sand. I'm telling you this. I've gone through all of it. Now I've been experimenting with water for months and months and months in the dark, and it is it had nearly drove me crazy. But I've got a handle on it. Okay, so my black diamond blasting sand, it needs to be fine sand, and though that's why I chose those two options, because they're the only thing that'll trap all of the elements and nutrients in your soil below the sand and stop it from getting up into the water. All right, without any further ado, let's get some dirt in this puppy. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to get your hands dirty for this. Oh, who knew? Got a fish tank getting your hands wet and dirty. All right. So you don't want it so wet that it's watery. But you also don't want it so dry that it's going to create air pockets. You want to be able to smush it down until you have uh, about an inch, inch and a half. And yes, a little bit's getting up on the glass, and I'm going to show you how you can get that off the glass. Because you can do this without being... Uh, you know, making a pigsty and being a complete mess. Okay, now this isn't hard. If you ever made mud castles as a kid, you're already an expert at putting mud into a container. All right, now I'm mushing this down. All right, now my third bucket I forgot to mention is a bucket of just straight purified water that I'm going to rinse my hand off in. Oh, look at how clever I am. Oh, all right. So, now, to get the mud off of the glass, so that doesn't escape into the column. Get yourself a credit card or something flat and plasticky, and just start pressing it all down. All right, there we go. And that looks to be about an inch. Oh, God. I thought I grabbed everything. Okay, I forgot my ruler. We'll just trust our eyeballs on this one and say it's an inch. Cool. All right, now the black bass blasting sand. Now you can rinse it. You can put it in dry. I really don't care. Either way, you roll the dice, it's going to get wet. I did <laughs> rinse this blasting sand because I did notice... Um, that it does have an oily film, but that doesn't really matter either. It'll when you get a filter on there, um, your you know your filter will start to run all of that oily substance out, or you can pre-rinse it. Whatever doesn't matter. I don't care. Pick one. So anyway, mine's been rinsed, and I've got a giant spoon here, and I'm going to start off putting it in the corners, and it needs to be at a minimum as thick as the dirt below, preferably even thicker. And if you follow, follow Father Fish, he's crazy. He seems to think you need nine inches of, of, uh, of sand on top of there. Uh, I don't know. So if he sees this video, he'll get mad at me. Do not do nine inches. Where are you going to put the fish? You're going to have nothing but dirt and sand in there. <laughs> All right. So start with the corners. Don't start going across until you've built up the corners and you can see the height of it. Alright? 
remember, at a minimum, at least as much blasting sand as you have soil. And it is preferred to even actually have about an inch more, uh, or a half an inch. So like if I did an inch of uh, dirt, I'll probably go with an inch and a half to two inches of sand. And it needs to be a fine sand because if it isn't a very fine, dense sand, it will not trap all of the stuff that's in your organic soil. There's a lot of living things in here, you know, it's made out of manure, cow poop, okay? So, there's, yes, there's lots of nutrients, but there's lots of other things going on in there that need to stay down there. All right, getting close. Tell me this is easy peasy. Oh God, I'm getting nervous. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm playing with dirt, guys. This isn't um, astrophysics here. I'm just dumping sand into a container. All right, now we start hitting up the center. Now that we've gone all the way around the edges. All right, let's take a gander and see how thick this is. And this is why um, pool filter sand is great. It's just, it's white, and I don't want to see the layers. When you use black diamond blasting sand, it's the same color as organic soil. And organic soil is super cheap. You can get 50 pounds of it for five bucks by miracle Grow. So, although you can't see it, I can, but we did double the, the depth. It is hard to distinguish the depth. That's why I prefer having a ruler, so I'm absolutely sure that I'm how much extra I'm putting in there. But hey, for good measure, I'll just put a little bit more sand in here. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with this tank now that I've wasted some dirt and sand on it. I, I should probably plant something in here. It's only a three gallon though, so I don't think I'll put any animals in here. Maybe I'll propagate something. <clears throat> All right, now. I've got the soil, I've capped it with the proper amount of sand, now I've got a paper plate. Now there are faster and quicker ways to do this, but I like to take my time because I don't want to kick up a bunch of dirt and make a huge mess. So, and I've got a lot of patience. Now I'm going to put the plate in here, and I'm filling it with nothing but organic, I mean sorry, with nothing but purified water. And I'm going to do this slow. Yes, this video will be long, uh, but, you know, all my videos are. You can't explain everything in detail in three minutes. All these YouTubers that are like, here's how you deal with this plant, and it's a two-minute video. What exactly did that person teach you? Nothing. They suggested it's a good plant, and that's it. All right, so in order to learn everything about a particular topic, you need to explain and then show some people learn better when they have a visual for them and not just hearing about it. Hearing helps, but also proving what you say also helps. All right, water, yeah! See, now, I, it, uh, and just in case you're wondering, the plate is there to stop, you know, stop dirt and sand from getting kicked up and sloshed all over, this, all over the place. So... Pour it on the plate, and it dispenses it out evenly. And yes, I did this with two 40-gallon tanks. It took me all freaking day. One gallon at a time. I was like, I don't want a single smidgen of dirt. And I am actually going quicker than I would if I was just doing this on my own. Because now my OCD is kicking in, and I see a piece of dirt there. Oh, oh, God, there's some sand right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, now I gotta go faster because if I don't get that sand out of the way, it's gonna tick me off. No! Don't get into my water column. You're gonna mess with my TDS. So I gotta prove something. I know I got a rat. Yeah, rat. All right. Okay, let's keep going. What are we at now? 14 minutes. Oh God. Here we go. More water. All purified water. 
start from scratch. I'm telling you, it's the way to go. You know, it's easy to add what you need to water. It's extremely difficult to take away. Because if you do a water change and you take away the old water and replace it with the same type of water you put in there in the first place, you're just starting, you're back at square one. Start from scratch. All right, so one more gallon. This is a three gallon tank, but it, it will be deprived of probably about a quarter gallon because of all the sand. All right, finished. Take out my paper plate. Oh, look at how clear it is, huh? Can't make a dirty tape without being dirty, huh? Uh, I wish I could call out the uh, YouTuber that was saying this on his channel. He's like, don't mess with dirt. I hate dirt. I, I am a, I have a PhD in aquatics and only the finest experts on the planet can do dirted tanks. Well, you must have got a PhD in bullshit because, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, it looks pretty clear to me. If you have the right amount of sand on top of your dirt, your water will be clear. All right, now G family, here's for you. TDS, I promised you I would test the water and show you that it has It'll be slightly altered, but not by very much. So remember, we had a TDS of three starting off, which is pure water. So here's my meter. I'm not messing with it. See, it says zero. Now I'm going to stick it in the tank. Come on. See, if you don't have steady hands and you jiggle it, it has a hard time. Okay, here we go. No, nope, that doesn't say 50. Sorry, it says 20. <laughs> oh, oh wait, I was putting it upside down. Or was I? Come on, focus so we can end this. Anyway, it's backwards, but it's 20 TDS. The water's still pure. Alright, G family, SJ Lofty, Cup Bait. I hope that was a helpful tip for you. Um... And now I've got to figure out what I'm going to put in this tank. I appreciate you all for watching. At least it wasn't 35 minutes like the first one. That's why I had to redo this. So, um, And there are a lot more topics that I'd like to cover. I just need to make separate videos. This one's still going on too long. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you're not, you're in the dumps, get up and do something about it. Stop watching YouTube videos. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you Monday.